What's up y'all, Tumbleweed Fishing here, and I have two sets of antlers, um, or two racks, um, some of you might say, uh, that I want to get mounted. And um, I don't have the little kit that you can get. You can get it at Walmart for like 12 bucks, maybe 17 bucks. I don't have that, um, and I don't want to spend the money on that. I have this piece of poplar wood. Yes, this is poplar wood. Um, and I have measured it into a five and a half inch segment and a five and a quarter inch segment um, and I will be cutting those out and I will be attempting to make two antler mounts out of that they're not gonna be bougie they're not gonna be the most beautiful things you've ever seen but they'll get the job done I'll be able to hang up my antlers on the wall it's gonna look real pretty um, for myself other people might think that looks kind of trashy you just put some wood on the wall but I'm gonna try to make it look good and um, the main goal of this is not to make the, the mount itself look good. I want just to show off my antlers. So let's get into this. Um, first, I'm gonna start cutting it out. Um, All right, y'all, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my sander out. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed this in a video before. Um, shoot, I might have taken down all the videos with this baby right here. But um, I got a combination sander. It's just a small one, a real cheap one, but um, it'll get the job done. I'm gonna sand out some of this. Um, I might make, I might round out the edges a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Figure it out as I go. It's what I usually do. Um, so I'll get that out, I'll unplug this, I'll put that one over here, and I'll show y'all what happens.
All right, y'all, I cut them out. Um, I did round the edges. It's not, like I said, it's not the prettiest thing, but shoot, this will do, this will do a lot. Um, I might airbrush it, I don't know. Um, I'm debating on it. Um, but before I do that, I do need to drill the hole that the, it's gonna hang on the wall. I don't have any of those cool little things with the, all the teeth looking, like the shark teeth looking things. Um, so I'm gonna have to drill a hole and that's where the, that's where it's gonna hang by. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get it as center as possible. I'm gonna measure, but my measuring's not the best. And I'm just gonna drill it and shoot, if it's a little crooked, it's a little crooked. It's just, I'm planning on eventually getting these into real, into um, real mounts, but I don't know, if these turn out all right, then I probably won't. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna do that now. Y'all, when I say this thing right here produces some some fine sawdust, I am not joking around. I mean, this whole thing is covered. It's going to be quite, quite a fun time cleaning up. Anyway, got my drill here. I'm starting off with a real small drill bit. Um, let me check what size that is. That right there is a 1 16th inch drill bit. And then once I get that down at the, the one and three quarters mark, um, sorry, one and three quarters of an inch, which is gonna be in the center, um, then I will drill a little bit bigger so that the nail can fit in it. All right, let's do this. All right, there we go. I already measured it out, put the little dot down. trick is I can't go all the way through this because that'd be a mess up because then there'd be a hole out on the other side. The side where I want it to look pretty. This is just a hole so that the drill bit, the bigger drill bit knows where to go. It doesn't slip off course and go somewhere else. So I'll put this one back in now and I'll get the bigger drill bit, the one that I want. I'm gonna go with a 5 16th. If I find out that the nail that I'm gonna use is bigger than that, I can always just expand it. But I doubt it will be bigger than this. In fact, you know what? I might even switch it to a little bit smaller. I'll have to look right now. I'll, do, I'll actually switch it for a 7 32 of an inch because I believe this one right here would even be a little bit too big. Again, if, I, if it's too small, I can always just make it bigger, but once it's too big, you cannot make it smaller. All right, so I have it in, this, I have it in the drill. Hopefully I don't mess this up. If I go all the way through with this, then that's... Then that would be a mess up. Oh, it's in my eye. Remember what I said about wearing glasses, safety glasses, guys. Don't want wood in your eye. All right, I just... Went around the edges a little bit. I'm gonna have to sand this out again. That's all right. And I'm gonna get this one right here. And do the same. Last thing to do, I'm gonna turn this back on. I'm gonna sand it out again. That right there is literally all I had to do to sand it out again. Now let's see if I have a nail. I don't even know if I have nails, y'all. Let's see.
All right, y'all, so I have the hole in the back. I have it ready. Um, I should probably put a finish on it. I don't have a wood finish, um, unless you're talking about like my clear coats that I use on fishing lures, which are not the right type. Um, so as much as I think that'd be super cool to do, it'll also take a lot of time, which I don't care about time right now. I mean, I'm, I can do it, but I don't have the stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put the antlers on it. I think it's gonna look really cool. Um, at least for myself, I think it's gonna be cool. Other people, they might think, oh, I would've just bought one, I would've just bought one. Uh, it's only like 12, 17 bucks to get it from Walmart, so. Um, I don't know, I just thought I might wanna try it myself. If I decide I don't like it over time, I can just go get one. But uh, I kinda like these. Kinda like the way you can, you can look at them and be like, those are simple. But then it's like they're simple in a way to where when you look at them, you're not gonna be looking at the mount itself, you're gonna be looking at the antlers, which is what I wanna do. Um, so I'm gonna go get my antlers. I'm gonna drill two holes in the, in the, the skull part connecting the antlers, um, and then I'm gonna screw it into the wood. All right, y'all, this is the time y'all have probably been waiting for. I've been pretty excited to show y'all these. But anyway, this is the first pair of antlers I have. As you can see, it's a beautiful pair. Um, a nice, beautiful, typical, some, some pretty big brow tines, pretty long brow tines, um, a wide, wide rack on this. Um, so he's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna show you the other one. The other one is my favorite one out of these two. This is the other one. As you can see, it has some character in these brow tines. Again, really long brow tines. This brow tines looks like it wanted to start swirling. It's very curvy. This one goes up and curves inward. Then over here, we have this right here starting to curve up. A lot of details on these antlers right here. Look at how long these tines are. This is a beautiful buck. Then look right here. These two are combined. They're webbed together, um, starts to go up as one and splits into two. This is what you call the split as you guys can probably probably already guess that. Anyway, this one's my favorite one out of these two because it has this detail right here, along with right at the end, there's that little hole right there. Um, I'm not positive what causes that. If y'all know, please let me know. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't claim to be the most knowledgeable about this stuff, but uh, I, do, I do love to learn about it. So if y'all have any information on why that happens right here, um, please let me know. All right, y'all, so what I'm gonna do first, I have this old Texas shirt right here. I don't know how y'all can see that. I used, I ripped it up. I used it, uh, cause the sleeve ripped off. I used this in wrestling practice and the sleeve ripped off. So I decided I was gonna start using this as a rag um, to wipe my hands and stuff when I'm making fishing lures. So I'm gonna have that in the background or I'm gonna have that under this. Um, and then I will get my drill right here. This is a Milwaukee. Don't know the exact model, but um, I'm not the biggest tool guy, but I know how to use them for the most part. So now I'm going to start to drill. does not smell the best but um shoot it works i didn't even add water all right time for the next one that almost went bad it pulled the pulled the shirt but um yeah it worked This appears to be even right here.
Turn these screws in, huh? This might actually work out perfectly. Alright, I'll let y'all know when I have the screws in. Alright, All right, y'all, I got it. I don't think this looks bad at all. I actually think this looks really, really good. Um, and I'm excited to hang it up in my room. Uh, I think this is actually a really, really beautiful mount for how little work it took. And I'm actually pretty proud of it. Um, like I, I don't know if I said this already, but this is something that any of y'all can do um, to hang up your, your antlers. Uh, you just need a little bit of wood just need some some drill bits and screws and um, you can get it done like this I think it's I actually I really like this a lot I'll do the same thing the other side and I'll show y'all it in my room All right, y'all, so it came to my attention that I was getting the wrong screws. Um, by come to my attention, I mean my stepdad told me. Um, I was using screws that's meant to screw into a nut, and um, so I switched them out with the proper screws. Um, let me show y'all what happened. Uh, also, instead of using that little hole I drilled in the back to just hang it on the nail, um, we switched that out, and by we, I mean <laughs> my stepdad told me that I probably shouldn't do that. Um, so. I switched it out and I drilled a hole in the front and put the screw going all the way through the wood, hanging it into an anchor in the wall. Um, I think that's a lot better idea. Um, thanks to my stepdad for giving me that advice. Uh, I'll show y'all what it looks like. It looks really good. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you buy one from the store. I didn't buy this one. Um, my, my grandpa got this mounted for me um, a while back, several years ago. and. It's a really cool, really cool rack right there. Curves inward. It looks real nice. Then we have those two. Look at those beauties. Sheesh. Those are beautiful. So, as you can see, I switched the screws. These two are, are a lot better. These work um, perfectly. Makes it a lot more sturdy. Then we drilled a hole right here and a smaller hole behind it. Um, and then we drilled the screw in. As you see, it's not going anywhere. Both of those are not going anywhere and they look gorgeous. Um, when I have my own place one day, my wall is going to be covered in antlers. And I think all, I'm gonna make all my antlers like that because I think that looks gorgeous. All right, y'all, so as you can see, you can keep it like that or you can put a hat on. Now, the only thing with the hat on is it does cover up those beautiful brow tines but it makes the mount even more discreet, which is super cool. Now, I don't know yet. I might keep it without the hat. I might keep it with the hat. Um, I do like those brow tines, if you can't tell. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it if you watched this far. I love each and every one of y'all. Peace.